of sunset. It was the start of a brand new summer's day. The sun slowly peeped over the horizon, waking sleepy creatures all over the meadow. Oh, good morning, little nut brown. A little nut brown hair? Mm. Someone's up very early this morning. Even though the morning was Little White Owl's bedtime, this morning she was busy telling stories to a very eager listener. What happened next? Nearly there, Little Nut Brown Hare. A good story takes time, you know. The sun rose with a glorious glow, just as the moon closed its eyes and went to sleep. The end. Hooray! Can I have another story? I think it's time you let Little White Owl get to sleep. It is her bedtime, after all. Just one more? Please? No one can tell stories like you. <laughs> How about you try to make up a story of your own? A story of my own? I wouldn't know where to start. Well... A story can start with, once upon a time, or long, long ago. Then, you just need to think of an idea. Why don't you look about in the meadow? You might get an idea for a story there. Hmm, maybe I will. I'll make up a story for you, Little White Owl. For me? I can't wait to hear it. Yes. I'll have it ready to tell you at sunset, when you wake up. Thank you, Little Nut Brown Hare. See you then. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Story, here I come. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a tree. Yes, a large leafy tree. And under it was a beautiful red raspberry. And another. Oh, hello, little redwood fox. I see you found the raspberries too. And they are so red and sweet. Let's pick a big pile of them. Well, I would, but I'm trying to think up an idea for a story to tell little white owl. I promised her. Can you think of one? Oh, I can try. Uh, I know. Let's go to the river. We might get some ideas there. Story, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> story, a story, I'm making up a story. We're sure to find a story idea here. Look, a strawberry. Once upon a time, a strawberry was as big and as pink as, um, a strawberry and, um... <laughs> hello, you two. Oh, hello, little grey squirrel. What are you doing? We need to think of a story for little white owl before the sun goes down. Do you have an idea? Hmm, a story for little white owl. Yes! Why don't we go to the flower fields? I always go there when I have to think hard. Yes, we're sure to think of an idea there. Hmm. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a little lavender mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you surprised us, little field mouse. <laughs> Have you come to enjoy the lavender too? Sort of. We're trying to think up a story. We need to think of one by sunset. Can you think of one? Um... Nope. I can't think of any stories. Oh dear, it's getting late and I still haven't got an idea. Little White Owl will be so disappointed. Oh, what's up, little nut brown hair? We went everywhere. The meadow, the river, the woods. And you couldn't think of any stories? No, 
All we found was this fruit. What will I do? I promised Little White Owl a story, and I haven't got one to tell her. And soon she'll wake up because, look, it's already sunset. Don't worry. With a little bit of imagination, you'll find what you need is all around you. And as little nut brown hair looked at the glorious summer sunset, his imagination suddenly became as vivid as the sky. Yes! Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a little nut brown hair who saw the sunset. Ooh, has my story started? You're just in time, little white owl. Oh, good. I can't wait. The little nut brown hair saw the sunset was full of red and pink and purple, so bright that you could almost taste them. He decided to invite all his best friends to supper so they could taste the sunset together. How could they taste the sunset? Because he had sweet raspberries as red as the sunset. Oh, he had slurpy strawberries as pink as a sunset. Oh, and he had lovely lavender as purple as the sunset. Amazing! Yes, and so that evening the friends shared the most colourful supper ever. It tasted just as good as the sunset. The Hooray! <laughs> Guess how much I love you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun and adventure with me and all my friends. See you next time. <laughs>